we sure did. I bet you thought we were some kind of big hand monster or something. <laughs> this time you two have gone too far. You've pushed me over the edge. Your anguished cries and pleas for mercy fall on deaf ears. I am no longer responsible for my actions. You two are nothing but uncouth ne'er-do-wells whose only reason for being is to plague innocence with your mindless juvenile pranks and Stone Age humor. Huh? The truth hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Rose? Me? Never mind me. They didn't hurt you, did they? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for the strong language back there, but when I saw how badly they frightened you, well, I guess I snapped. Well, here we are. Neat house. You really think so? Yeah, it has a certain, uh, creepiness. I like that in a house. Well, I guess I should go. Rose, I know we haven't known each other very long, but, uh, well, could you... Would you be my science partner? I'd, I'd love to, Wendell. Uh, together, I'm certain we could get a report published in Scientific America, and... I said yes. <gasps> Is this great or what? See you tomorrow, science partner. <laughs> 